Hi. Yeah. yeah. We're not having the ball do that now. That's stupid. So, all right. So we got KT. That's our one file. Uh, the fire red because this is the only game I could get to reset for some reason. I gotta turn this down. Uh, yeah, hi, Oak. Hi, hi, Pref Oak. I'm a boy. Uh huh. Um, uh, let's make the, you know, we're gonna make this, uh, we're gonna make this. Pickles adventure. I guess. I don't know. I'm tired. I should probably be sleeping right now, but I don't want to. So pickles. No, you know what? No, no e, no e involved. No. Wait. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Pickles. There. Pickles. All right. Here's this douche. We're gonna call him uh, Dill. No, that's stupid. Um, here we go. Perfect. We're getting it. Yep. His name is F Boy. Yay, very own dream and adventures. One second. Sorry. Thought I had the cheat on, but I don't. Alright, so what are our options? Uh, fast battle. Oh, crap. Yeah, uh, set battle mode. It's gonna be a bit of a harder version. Uh, so basically, like the usual rules, like first Pokemon to come to an area, dupes clause, is not in effect. So whatever we get to first is what we get. Um, so, that is going to make this a lot more difficult, uh, because instead of being like, oh, I, it, oh, crap, I already caught a Rattata, or, oh, I already caught a Pidgey, here, let me cry and get a Growlithe, or whatever, nope, no Growlithe, uh, so, one, so, okay, Bulbasaur, cool, uh, yes, we're gonna call you, uh, you're a boy, so, I'm <clears throat> trying to be louder. Uh, let's go with... You know what? I'm going to do what I did in uh, Emerald. I'm just going to press a bunch of buttons. See what comes out as long as it makes sense. Hit a vowel next. Uh, that's not a vowel. Uh, okay, now just go. Yeah, okay. Doeb High. Doeb High. Doeb High's fine. That's a great name. Alright, Doeb High. What's up? You are Thathy. I think that's good. I think that raises your special defense. You are going to be a tank, sir. Alright, let's, let's go, you idiot. <clears throat> let's go, boy. Um, Alright. Dobai. Dobai or Doabhai? I don't know. This isn't even a word. Oh god, he's gonna. Okay. Also, um, first fight doesn't matter. Let's guess. Yeah, screw that. We're gonna shut up. We're healing him. <laughs> Keep an eye on your health. Uh huh. He was going in for the kill. Usually, he's just like, oh, I'll be nice and use tail whip or leer or whatever. He has not this time. Kind of weird. Okay. Bye. Mm. Uh, I don't have the running shoes. Eh. Uh, but the game does not start until we get Pokeball. Oh, I should have said that. The game does not start until we get Pokeballs. Nuzlocke. Uh, this is not a Nuzlocke right now. Uh, until we get balls. Until we get the balls. <coughs> I'm also kind of sick. If you can't tell. I mean, I'm, like, not sick. I just, like, allergies. Because... Fall. Apparently, this is gonna be a really hot fall, and a uh, then it's gonna be a stupidly cold uh, winter. So whatever. Um, 
Shut up. So, how far am I gonna... Really hope I catch a Pidgey at some point, because then I can take care... As long as it gets Gust, I can take care of everything in Viridian Forest pretty much handily. It's the only problem with having Bulbasaur. Like, the, the advantage of choosing Charmander is that you will absolutely annihilate everything in Viridian Forest, but you will do zero against Brock. Uh, Brock is a big issue, because he learns Metal Claw, but, um, not, not, not Onyx. Um, Charmander learns Metal Claw in this, only in this game. Only in, uh, this and, uh, Leaf Green. Uh, yes, I'm playing Fire Red again. I wanted to play Leaf Green. I mean, I can call it Leaf Green. It just won't be Leaf Green. Um... So we just got the balls, correct? Yeah, alright. So, whatever we run into. And... It's a Pidgey! Sweet. I will take it. Oh, you missed. Um... What do I have rare candies? I didn't ask for that. <clears throat> I will not overlevel. Um, alright, I'm just gonna hit a vowel. Here we go. I mean, a regular. Okay, so we're gonna hit X, and then we're just gonna. No, okay, no. I hit high before. Let's try something else. No. <laughs> Perfect. Zebku. Zebku. I like that. Xepku. Xepku. Or Zebku. I'll just go with Zebku. Ooh, look at those even stats. I feel like that's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, Pidgey learns Gust at like 9 or something, so I mean, that's pretty good. Alright, there's the Rattata, whatever. Um, so you can't take him down. So, I'm probably gonna train everyone to about level 9, but we got another Pokemon to catch before we do that. Not 9. Uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do, um, Dobai. Is that his name? Yeah, Dobai to 9, and then Zebco, Zebku, and whatever we catch over here to level 8. Alright, what do we get? What are we getting? 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 Are we getting? Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. all right. Already liking it. All ooh, defensive. We've got a defensive manky up in this. All right, one, two, three, boom. No, what do I call you, manky? Manky, you're a girl, but it doesn't matter. All right, we'll hit ladder M and see what we get. No. Mikava. Mekava. Mekava. Mekiva. You're freaking modest. Are you kidding me? Great. I'm not going to worry about natures. Oh, yeah. I remember the other rule I was going to add. Um, If a Pokemon... We'll say, so Dobai is a poison type. He's a grass poison type. Uh, this is gonna, no, I'll explain it when it comes time, because otherwise it's gonna be really confusing. Uh, if I try to explain it when, like, now, it's just gonna be like, you guys are gonna be like, what? I'm so confused. Stop it. It's hurting my brain. Uh, let's try and go catch something in Viridian Forest. So, I forget. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. Okay, sorry. This freaking old guy wanted to teach me how to catch things. Uh, so, Route 2. Uh, I don't know what we're going to get. I think we can get Rattatas. We might actually catch another Pidgey. Rattata. All right. So, we got some diversity on the team. I like it. Uh, well, I do say that, but this could crit. Okay, cool. Poke ball. Get in the ball. Let me get you to... I'm gonna get... Dobhai to level 7 real quick. Let me let me name you. Uh, I'm gonna name you with an H. Uh, 
I'll hit the U first, and then we'll see what we get. No. Go. Hachuk. 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 It's a strange name, and I kind of like it. Mild. Eh, doesn't really help. Uh, Alright, give me one second. Okay, he's level 7, and he's got a leech seed now, which is perfect. Um, I don't want to run back and heal right now. It's a waste of items. I don't care. Oh, God. Viridian Forest. So, as I said, we have something... A chance of... Why? Why? Why are there four rare candies? Are you kidding? I... I turned it off. This... Oh, God. Good, it was enabled. Great. Alright, that's unfair. I'm gonna sell one of those. What do we get? Come on, something good, something good, something good, something... Okay. <laughs> Just throw the seed. It drain its health. Great, missed the tackle. Kinda of hoping for Pikachu, but whatever. Stop using string shots. Tackle, perfect. That's. It's, I was gonna be real upset if I changed my Pokeballs. Two, three, perfect. You're a boy. Let's hit the letter key. L. L. And we'll start with I. Like a buh. Like buh. Uh, yeah, okay. I need to just press letters. Press buttons and just say the letters. So if it's like, it's like L, K, F, and G, I'll just be like, L, K, F, G. L, G, G, L, K, F, G. L, K, F, G. L, K, G. L, K, G. L, K, F, G. L, F, G. L, K, F, G. Oof. Yeah, okay, I couldn't do that. I'd just be like, uh, okay, alright, L, let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't even say any of the letters. Okay. So this seems really inconvenient. Um, the fact that it is unfair, I'm gonna sell one. Uh, and then I'm gonna toss these. I'm gonna toss those. Why? Thank you. My Pokeballs. Uh, I feel like I have too much money now for some reason. All right, five. Uh, five of you. I don't really think I need the paralyzed heals. Yeah, sure. Why not blow all my freaking money? Here we go. Uh, all right. I gotta train on this route over here, and then I gotta fight blue. So I mean blue. I gotta fight boy. So, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, so, here's the team. We got Dobai, level 9. Still with the Leech Seed. I should probably, yeah, I'm doing that. With the Leech Seed. Uh, we got Zebco. Zebku at level 9 as well. Because I was like, you know what? He's going to learn Gust. Uh, and I need Gust. So, there you go. You got Gust. We got Mikova level 8. And we got Low Kick on her. Uh, Hutchk is level 8. And he's got Quick Attack. And then Lycaba just could not train him past this level. So he's level 7. Uh, I was getting really irritated. So either way, we got a Battle Rival Sama now. Um, I gotta get Lycaba up front to train him to a Butterfree. Because you never know. Rock Tomb will one-shot him, but they are not very specially defensive, so who knows? He can do a lot of damage. Alright, we're getting you out of there. Uh, go into Zebku. Because physical defense on uh, what's his nuts is not that good. Oh my god. Really? 
Really? You piece of garbage. You actual trash. Oh, yeah. Free, please, crit my freaking Ratata, too. God, it's such bull. Oh, what am I gonna do? Uh, you know, Ember. It's so annoying. Leer at it. Mekava. Hang in there. Uh, low kick. Crit. Scratch. Thank you. God, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Shut up with my dwaddling. I'm dwiddling. Whatever. Dwiddling? I don't know. That's so annoying. Like, freaking already. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no, you're dead. I'm just gonna put dead, because I don't want to think of a good name yet. Damn it, Zeb, go. Kinda needs you. Alright, that was weird. Just turned itself sideways. I hope that didn't absolutely destroy my recording. Um. Yeah. You know what? No, I'm not gonna leave you out. Um. I need like a second in command now. So that was Zebku. And he's dead. Um. And I mean, it should be Mikava, Mikava, but she's freaking modest nature, which is garbage. So I don't want that. So I can make it Radita. Make it. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, no, no. Um. Oh yeah, set battle. GG. Oh gee, sorry. Um What are you what do you have? You have gu oh my god, you have guts. You champion. Alright, we'll give Mikava out. I'm probably not even gonna have my freaking metapod on my team for that long. Uh, Leer. You have, like, Vital Spirit or something stu- Oh, I didn't want to do that. Now you're poisoned. Nope. I didn't want to hit Low Kick. Oh, freaking fantastic. Because I keep hitting over and then up. Oh, God, stop. Oh, my God. Oh, great, Mikova died. Yep, Mikova's dead. Seriously. So, another crit, and it killed me. GG. Oh, please, poison me. Please poison and crit me. I would love nothing more. Freaking Kakunas. Kiss my ass, Kakuna. Okay. So, give me, like, I don't know, a minute or so. By that, I mean, give me, like, like, 20 seconds. And I don't even know how much time I need. Uh, I'm gonna go bury this freaking body, and then I'm gonna train. Um, I'm just gonna get the other two. I gotta get... God damn it. That's annoying. So, two deaths that are not my fault in actually any way, um, because of crits, are the most annoying things on the planet. So, already dead, which you could have been promising, and yeah, I honestly, I don't care. Sounds mean? It, shut up. My first, my first freaking catch already died. I gotta get you to a freaking Butterfree now. So, bye, I'll be back. 
Uh, I'll I'll be back. Oh wait, wait. I'm doing it wrong. Here we go. Okay. So I ran back. Here we go. Dope high. Is it level ten? He's now got vine whip. Uh, Hutch didn't learn anything, and Lakeba is now a butterfree and has confusion. So, uh, let's see what else can die while we're in here. I'm putting my bets on the starter. <laughs> Honestly, he has the type advantage, disadvantage, but whatever. Oops. It might be little, but I can still win. Cater pie. At least you can't freaking poison me. Uh, yeah, you can't either. Cool. Oh, I could have just killed you with another quick attack. What am I doing? Goodbye. Oh, boo. Shut up. I lost two Pokemon. So do yet. It's how bad it is. It's how, it's how bad it is. Um, what do I want to talk about? I don't even know. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, I guess. I don't know. Seeming to be hype. My thing, uh, like so far the roster has been kind of disappointing. If I'm gonna be totally honest. Uh, the only ones I've really, that have really popped out are the starters, um, and then, like, nothing else. I mean, there is a new version of Ratatou, who's a freaking normal dark type. Uh, while that is laughably weak to fighting, uh, it's nice they did that, because it now powers up Bite and Crunch and Sucker Punch, and any other dark attacks you may learn. So, I mean, that's pretty magical. Also, Snorlax gets a hilarious move. Uh, where he runs. <sighs> I think saying that is enough. Um. I don't even know what else. Just a lot of the designs of the new Pokemon. It's like. Are so stupid. And have like zero creativity. The, the bird looks almost completely identical to freaking Fletchling. And it really makes me mad. It's like the only difference is that some of their colors and the fact that it's like got some sort of a f like thing up. Uh, but yeah, I am not really over. The designs aren't over with me, really. Uh, a lot of the Pokemon are. Other than the two legendaries and the starters, they're just not that impressive. Um. Like, my thing is quality over quantity, so they give us a generation. Like, previous generation, Gen 6, yeah, there was only, like, you know, 72 brand new Pokemon introduced. Shut up about the Megas. They don't count, in my opinion. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a loud cough. I just needed to do it. Um. So... The only problem, like okay, so like I said, Gen Six only introduced seventy-two brand new Pokemon, and basically all of them I liked, and it mostly had to do with their designs. But overall, they were just some really creative Pokemon. Uh, all three starters were freaking awesome, um, and I just overall enjoyed the generation. Um, now. Gen 5 was a good generation as well, but they're, some of the designs of their Pokemon are not, in my opinion, as creative as they could have been. Um, but, you know, there was just a few. There was actually a lot that I was kind of disappointed in. And, um, I don't know. Gen, Gen 7 does somewhat seem promising, though. Just the region and everything. It's just so far they've introduced a good amount of brand new Pokemon, which is really nice, but I feel like they're 
somewhat focusing on like the uh, older Pokemon too much again which kind of makes me mad like the thing with Gen 6 is the Megas were the brand new evolutions to the older Pokemon and it kind of ticked me off because it's like okay we always look forward to the brand new evolutions to the older Pokemon and what do you give us this generation we get freaking Megas we get these like stupidly overpowered. Here's the thing about like the brand new, the, the brand new evolutions of older Pokemon. Uh, sometimes they powered the Pokemon up, um, and sometimes they were just you know a little bit of a buff. Like super, they didn't super power them up. They make them stupidly powerful. It was just like <clears throat> a little bit powerful. It wasn't crazy. Uh, and then oh yeah, we have the running shoes. Uh, and then with these brand new Pokemon with the Megas, they have a monstrous boost in power instead of just a little baby boost in power. Um, like, increase their base stat total by 100, give them a stupidly overpowered ability, uh, make their design, change their design but not too crazy to kind of be like, oh yeah, this is still this Pokemon. Uh, and then for some, like Absol, up stats that they honestly don't need upped by insane amounts. Um, Absol is one of my favorite Pokemon ever, and he's freaking, because he's so cool looking, and he's just overall a really cool Pokemon. Uh, he's got like a base 130 physical attack stat, which is hilariously high, and it's really hard to deal with, but his only issue is the fact that he's not that fast, and his defenses aren't that good. So, it's kind of a combination to fail. However, they gave him a Mega. And this is like, this is what made me lose hope in Megas. The fact that he has wings and he's not a dark flying type, which honestly didn't make sense to me in any way. The fact that they upped his, okay, they upped his speed, which is basically the only good thing they did. That and they gave him the ability Magic Bounce, which completely takes away all status moves that like hit your opponent like that hit you so if you have magic bounce and someone tries to use stealth rocks they go back and go on your opponent's side of the field now what happens if you both have magic bounce <laughs> what happens then that would be funny they just keep bouncing forth and the game breaks um but like I forget what I was talking about and that was really freaking close because I think he used tail whip like four times um, oops. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Okay. I screwed up. Oh god, what was I talking about? No! Um, oh yeah. The Megas. So, like, Mega Absol. The only. Here's the good things it did with it. Its design looks cool, but it's not a flying type. It should have been part flying. Um, it's. Speed and its ability. That's basically it. They upped his physical attack to, so I'm pretty sure, a base of 145. And his special attack to, like, the same base as his speed, which I don't remember what it was. But it's like, okay, so, basically, he doesn't take out his... So, he's basically just now stupidly overpowered, except for his defenses. So, if he gets hit, he's gonna take the exact same amount of damage as a regular one. Honestly, I... I'm really annoyed about that. And then, like, Mega Blaziken is just so overpowered, it's not even fair. I think they upped all both of his defenses by... 10 each. They upped his physical attack monstrously. They barely did anything with his special attack, and his speed's like a base of 100 now. So, the thing runs everything down, especially because his ability is speed boost. So, Pokemon like that are just so overpowered. The The thing I'm happy about is the fact they didn't give Mega Swampert freaking Sap Zipper, which completely makes a Pokemon immune to uh, grass and uh, their physical attack goes up if they're hit by a grass attack to even realize how overpowered that would be um but freaking certain things just make me mad the fact basically of everything I just said 
just made me mad. The mega, the existence of the megas makes me mad. Um, the fact that there's a chance freaking Charizard can actually beat Blastoise makes me mad. For those idiots that uh, jerk off the Charizard, basically can be like, oh yeah, there's another Charizard just so awesome because he can beat Blastoise. No, he's not. Because even if he mega evolves, Blastoise can mega evolve. Wait, did I just get Hyper Fang? Holy Christ. Because Blastoise can mega evolve and then run freaking Charizard into the ground. Um, it's 80, 90, Jesus. I love that. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion on Megas. Gen 2 and 4 in, were like normal where they introduced just brand new evolutions to older Pokemon in normal fashions which was they have them evolve you, you have to evolve them and they stay evolved like Gallade and um Honchcrow uh, Tangrowth Electivire Magnezone just a lot of awesome Pokemon Haunch Crow was a big question um, because of the fact that his speed got lowered and they didn't do anything with his defenses. GG. They upped his HP, but honestly, he needs the speed to counter the bad HP. Um, but Gen 2 had like Crobat, Scizor, uh, and a few others. The Evolutions, obviously, uh, which everybody loves. So, I mean, oh great, we get another freaking Mankey. That's fun. So, honestly, it's more or less about certain, certain opinions. Like, there's some people that are like, oh, the Megas are amazing, guys. Oh my god. Uh, and I'm just kind of like, you know what? No, they're not. No, they're not, honestly. And, uh, I like that. Dexon. Dexon. Why don't you be modest? No party. Okay, I'll take that. Um. So. I mean. Crobat's another one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And. He's fantastic. So. Like, if they gave an evolution to. Absol, that would be totally fine. Uh, ooh, I could actually possibly fight this thing. No, I can't. Oh, infatuation, get out. Get out now. But, just so many people. Especially because Charizard. The thing that ticks me off about Mega, like regular evolutions, like brand, brand new evolutions of older Pokemon, they don't give them two. Uh, like, certain Pokemon, like Gallade, yes. And, like, Gallade and Frostlass, yes. Uh, there's other forms. But, if you have a female Snow Runt, you don't have to evolve it into Frostlass. And if you have a male Curlia, you don't have to evolve it into Gallade. There are options. Now, you don't have to Mega Evolve, but there's so many people that decide to do so, and it just ticks me the f f off. Uh, where's the... God damn, there it is, Prisonberry. And it just ticks me off, honestly. And, like, the fact that there's two Megas for Charizard just makes people so much more annoying. Uh, I'm going to catch something in Mount Moon, and then we're going to call it an episode. And then I'm going to, like, train for the next one and get all ready and whatnot. All right, just run here. Hello. Oh, fun. All right, you lived. You're cool. You can stay. You can stay. <laughs> Honestly, you're not that good, though. <laughs> Osil. Osihli. Osil. I don't even know how to pronounce that. So, I mean, yeah. I decided to talk about something that's not just Pokemon Fire Red. I mean, what's your nature? Depending on what your nature is, I may keep you quiet. Okay, you're 
gear getting stored. So, sorry. Talked to my mom and I just got some stuff done. So, I did nothing. Uh, that's in PC and these are all the same level. I don't think I healed. No, I did. Okay. So, that was a big episode one. We already have deaths. Lol. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna put Dexon in the PC. Uh, because I don't just want to zoo back carrying my backup team. In case everything goes completely wrong. So I think I'm gonna... You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna train up Dexon and... Dexon. And I'm also gonna train up however the fudge you say that. I'm gonna just call you OC. I'm gonna train you both up. To... I'll get you to... I'll get you all the 14. And then I'll throw these two back into the PC. And just leave them there. Until I need them. So that's going to be all for episode 1. Thank you guys for watching it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I also did two other Nuzlocks before this. Uh, one of them was a Fire Red Nuzlocke. But it was like, I'm pretty sure it was shift set and whatnot. Uh, I did an Emerald Nuzlocke. But the, it stopped like halfway through. Um, it stopped at like episode 10. But you can still check it out. Uh, I put the Elite Four because I made it there. So either way, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.